The Da Vinci Curse by Leonardo Lo Spinato The Italian Leonardo da Vinci was known as a brilliant painter who became famous throughout the world and throughout history for his famous works of art. In addition, da Vinci had many other talents, as beside being a genius painter, da Vinci was a brilliant sculptor, engineer, and a scientist who is specialized in the anatomy of the human body. Da Vinci didn't specialize in a single area, and this was a future that was possessed by an elite group at that time. In our time, we find that things have changed about multi-talented people, as the knowledge society in which we live has become so complex that people must specialize in specific areas in order to achieve success. If we look at the most important jobs that people occupy today, we find doctors who specialize in spinal surgery, for example, or psychologists who specialize in a specific disease such as schizophrenia in adolescents, or physicists who study a specific field of astronomy such as black holes. The necessity of specialization in our current world is due to the huge and rapid growth of knowledge since the da Vinci era in the 16th century until now. With the increasing amount of knowledge and science that were discovered by man, experienced people in certain fields became more important than the multi-talented people. Complex fields such as neurosurgery and spine surgery require years of study and specialized training so that the doctor can gain the necessary experience to practice it. Therefore, a person who engages in such a field must devote his life to gaining the necessary experience in order to practice this profession without distracting his attention or his time in practicing and developing other talents. Bit to remember Today, multi-talented people are incompatible with a world that focuses on specialization. Unlike specialists, multi-talented people whom the writer calls the Da Vinci character strive to develop all of their talents. People with the Da Vinci character feel very motivated to practice all their talents. They also feel a great fear that they won't have enough time to do all of this. You find them from time to time fond of a new skill or hobby, they get drawn into it with a great passion at first glance. But soon, they lose interest in it once they master the basics of this new skill. So, you find people with the Da Vinci character changing their hobbies and jobs continuously and repeatedly. According to the writer's analysis, one of the main reasons for this is that they are afraid of competition. Although competition is one of the strongest motivations for many people, people with the Da Vinci character disagree with this view. For example, if people with the Da Vinci character tried playing tennis, they would practice hard until they are convinced that they have mastered this game and that they can outperform the best professional players if they continue to practice and play. But in return, they don't risk facing any player who's hard to beat in playing this game in order to maintain their conviction and appreciation for their personal talent. This feeling is also related to their fear of criticism. When the matter becomes more difficult, you find that they leave the hobby or the job and move to another one instead of moving to a higher level in the same field. Their inability to devote themselves to a specific field makes them have a superficial understanding of many skills without any deep understanding of any of these fields. After many years of moving from one field to another, people with the Da Vinci character often feel like they have wasted a great deal of time without realizing what their true profession is. Bit to remember, people with the Da Vinci character fear competition and they suffer when they try to determine the field that they can specialize in. Although the writer has called this phenomena the Da Vinci curse, there's a solution that the writer suggested for the people with the Da Vinci character, which is finding one complex activity that contains many talents in one field. People with the Da Vinci character have complex personalities that can only be satisfied with complex activities that combine a variety of their skills so that they don't feel that they have abandoned any of their multiple skills. The author, for example, describes himself as a Da Vinci character, and he likes to try everything you can imagine. 
During his career, he worked for IBM, where he learned how to program, along with practicing a large number of hobbies at that time. However, he was never able to focus on deepening the knowledge of one field. One day, he decided to dedicate himself to manufacturing electronic guitar machines, and that was how he managed to get rid of his Da Vinci curse. Musical instruments manufacturing was a very complex activity that it combined many of the writer's talents and interests. He benefited from his acquired knowledge in many fields such as sound engineering, physics, electrical engineering, and design. Bit to remember, to get rid of the Da Vinci's curse, people with this character must find a specific activity that includes many of their talents. To overcome the Da Vinci curse and to recognize the activities that satisfy our desires, the author suggests an approach that helps us to do so. It begins with the correct selection of the activities we want to practice. First, write down all the activities that come to your mind, including jobs, hobbies, and even the experiences you want to have. Then you can start the selection stage. At this stage, the activity must meet three criteria. Is it interesting? Do you have the talent to practice it? And can you make money from practicing it? After classifying the activities that you want to practice in the categories of talent, money, and fun, you must ask two critical questions to shorten your list of activities. First, what's the potential income of each activity? Second, what's the level of satisfaction that you would gain from practicing this activity? To answer these questions systematically, you can use the BCG matrix developed by the famous Boston Consulting Group. This matrix helps companies in evaluating the products they want to invest in by dividing them into categories called cows, dogs, stars, and question marks. Cows are the activities that will make you rich, but they won't satisfy you. Dogs are the activities that don't provide you with profits or psychological satisfaction. You should focus on the stars category, which we can call the dream job that will bring you wealth, psychological satisfaction, and give you a lofty meaning to your life. Finally, there's the category of question marks, which are the activities that we like to do, but they are unlikely to bring us a financial return. This doesn't mean that we get rid of it immediately, but we must continue to practice it in order to achieve pleasure and entertainment, but with the search for ways to turn it into profitable activities. Bit to remember, finding the right activity begins with creating a wish list and following a systematic assessment to determine which activity that fulfills your wishes and provides income. Thanks for watching. Please follow our social media accounts. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.